Should an air exchanger be running when conducting a short-term radon test? Let's talk about it. So before I get into all the specifics of this, let me define some of this stuff. First off, an air exchanger is more technically known as a heat recovery ventilator or an energy recovery ventilator. I'm not going to get into the specifics of what is what, but for short, I'm just going to call it an HRV, heat recovery ventilator. So first off, why do we even have HRVs? They're designed to change the air out in a home. They bring fresh air in and they take stale air and exhaust it back out of the house. And the two pass over each other, but never mix with each other. They pass over each other inside of the heat exchanger, which is basically the core of the HRV. So you always have fresh air coming in, you have stale air leaving, and it, it, it makes the air in the house fresher. It's, it's an indoor air quality thing. And we started requiring these in homes when we started building them tighter. And at some point, our energy code changed and we allowed something called exhaust-only ventilation. I called it a poor man's HRV. It was basically an exhaust fan that would continuously remove air from the home. But those are no longer allowed in Minnesota. Now we're back to balanced ventilation. That's what's required. That's what it says in our energy code. You need balanced ventilation. And it means that the air coming in is going to equal the air coming out. It doesn't put the house under positive or negative pressure. It has nothing to do with all of the things in your home that remove air from the home. And I'm talking about things like a bathroom exhaust fan, kitchen exhaust fan, clothes dryer, power vent, water heater. All of these things remove air from the home. The HRV has nothing to do with that. The HRV is only there to circulate air in the home to bring fresh air in and stale air out. It's, it's not makeup air and it's not combustion air. So that's, that's what an HRV is. So, how does an HRV affect radon? Well, if you're always bringing fresh air in and taking steel air out, this has the potential to reduce radon levels in the home. And if you have a properly installed, properly maintained HRV running at high speed constantly, you are surely going to reduce radon levels in the home. How much? Who knows? There's way too many variables for me to try to just say it's going to be exactly this, but in general, uh, maybe by about half. And, that, and that's, you know, don't quote me on that, but that's, that's an average. So uh, an HRV will lower radon levels when it's properly installed and properly maintained. Uh, that's a good takeaway here. When it's not properly maintained, however, and most of them aren't, it means that you're probably going to have a clogged intake. It, the intake at the, at the exterior of the home gets all clogged up with cottonwood and mosquitoes and other kind of debris and it, it, no air comes in. It, it gets blocked. And so if no air is coming in but you do have air exhausting, what does that do to the pressure in the home? It puts the home under negative pressure. The house sucks. The house is looking for more air to replace the air that's leaving. Where does it get that air? Well, one of the places is going to be through cracks in the foundation, uh, openings around the sump basket that aren't properly sealed. It'll pull in soil gases. You see where I'm going with this, right? When, when all these soil gases are pulled in, it means that it's pulling in radon gas. And if you have a clogged intake at the exterior, you've got the potential to act, actually increase radon levels during a short-term radon test. So, in that case, it'd be better for the HRV to not be running at all if it's going to be clogged. And for that reason, well, you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let's answer the question. Should the HRV be running during a short-term radon test? Well, in my opinion, if a home was built with an HRV, it means that it was designed to have that HRV running and normal conditions, proper conditions for that home is with the HRV running. So if there's a short-term test that's being conducted, the HRV should definitely be running during that short-term test. But it's also important that the intake be clean. If you've got a clogged intake, that's gonna kinda mess up the test, and I don't think that's good conditions. And I'll tell you, for, for a long time when my company did radon testing, we would simply document the conditions, what we found when we came to set the test. If the HRV was on, we'd say it was on. If it was off, we'd say it's off. But we had enough people complain and say, well, 
we had it off, but it's not fair that it was off during the short-term test because normally we have it running during the winter time and you test it in summer. We want you to retest because we, we think it's going to be a lot lower. And that's, that's a fair complaint. Now, you know, of course, we send out notices ahead of time, but nobody reads that anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we got to the point where if we're setting a short-term radon test, we turn the HRV on. We turn it on when we set the test. And we also go around the outside of the home, we find the intake, and if it's filthy, we clean it off. Now, maybe that's going above and beyond what uh, a radon testing company should do, but I feel it's kind of important to do this, and it... It's, it's simulating what the house should be. Now, you know, I've made the joke, if I wanted to really simulate real world conditions, I'd take a bag of lint and, and dead flies and I'd jam it into that intake. Now there's your real world conditions. Um, but, you know, that's a cynical approach. And in, in all seriousness, uh, my advice to anybody doing short term radon testing is to do the same thing. If there's an HRV there, I think it should be running during the test. And if there's an intake that's all clogged and nasty, go ahead and clean it off. You're going to be giving the, your, your client, the person hiring you to do this, you're going to be giving them the best results that you can. And I know people will argue and say, well, you know, homeowners don't maintain those anyways. I don't know about that. Uh, the, the, most homeowners don't, but I think it's because they don't know to maintain them. And most of the time, when we're doing a short-term radon test for somebody, we're also doing a home inspection for them. So we're educating them on this. We're telling them what the HRV is all about and what they need to do to maintain it and how important this all is. And I got the feeling that uh, the majority of our clients have a good understanding of what their HRV does and what they're supposed to do to properly maintain it. So that's my two cents on the whole matter. Oh, and... Uh, what's required by law, it is okay for the HRV to be running during a short-term radon test, provided it's properly maintained. So, there we are. Thanks for watching.